hey kids. So sure enough, I ended up having to swap out my battery. So, uh, sorry. So I made that video and then I thought, well, there were some comments about how long I said a battery should last. So I just wanted to make sure, uh, maybe I was a little too hopeful when I said six to 12 years, um, cause people in harsher climates were, were laughing at me. So, uh, anyway, so in fairness, yeah, I mean, if you're in a rough climate, they could only last three years. Uh, 12 years is really, really hopeful. Um, so I apologize for that. I, I think you probably could expect in a normal climate, uh, six years, but you know, in a rougher climate, you're probably looking at three or four years. So anyway, just wanted to, um, clear that up so that I didn't cause any confusion. And if anything, maybe I was just, um, allowing you to, uh, be a little more hopeful that your battery would last longer. I didn't want you though to have it and only last six years and you're going, ah, it should last for 12. So anyway, just wanted to clear that up. All right. Thank you. Hey kids. So sure enough, my battery was just, it, it uh, had ran its course. It, it was just dead. Um, Cause we didn't leave the lights on or anything. It just wouldn't start. And that's probably was a pretty good sign. And then especially once we came out and we saw the, the terminals were clean, I had a feeling that it probably was just the battery. So I'm gonna show you how to replace the battery. That's what we're gonna do today. Okay. Okay, so the right way to do this <laughs> would be to have um, the right wrenches and this is a 10 millimeter. This is a 10 millimeter. This is a 10 millimeter and then and this is a 10 millimeter But I don't have a 10 millimeter wrench on me. So uh, and you got to be careful with this This is a needle nose pliers. Okay, that's what they call that when I do my tool Tuesday I'll kind of walk through the different pliers that you need but this is uh, this, this is pretty handy. You just want to make sure that you're not stripping the the nuts because then if you keep using some the wrong tool eventually over time you know this is going to get rounded off and then you might have to use another tool to try to get that off so it's not really a good habit to get into but i just want to show you if you don't have the right tool sometimes you have to just find a way okay so we're going to go ahead and just loosen these up okay okay so that's already loose i hook that and then i'm going to loosen this Okay. Again, see how you can kind of round that off if you're not careful? You want to keep those edges sharp if at all possible. So you, that's why you don't want to use the wrong tool all the time. <laughs> so don't just get a needle nose, right? So we got that, we pull that off, okay? Set that off to the side. Now, again, needle nose. I do happen to have a socket um, that'll work for for this, and I'll show you, I'm gonna use my drill for that, but for this, I don't have a deep socket in order to go over that, and I don't have a 10 millimeter wrench, so I'm just gonna get it started. This is probably pretty, you know, it's not gonna be that bad. So now, all I'm gonna do is just loosen that up. Okay, pull that off. Set that off to the side. Keep track of that, right? Um, make sure you know where you put it. So we can loosen that up. Now I'm going to use my drill uh, to show you how easy it is when you have the right tool. This is a 10 millimeter socket. I just put it right on there and I got to make sure. Okay, so that's all loose. We just set that aside, make sure we keep track of it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and pull this out. Okay. Um, set that off to the side and this little this little hook right here I'm going to show you and we'll show you what that looks like. It looks like that and so you're going to need to pay attention to this um, When we remove this I'll show you what, what what that hooks into so let's go ahead and pull this out batteries are about uh, Probably 40 pounds. I don't know exactly, but they're fairly heavy and so thankfully they got a handle on them Okay, um, the battery that I picked up um it didn't have a handle and so I said hey I need a handle can you help me out and sure enough uh, they, they went and got me a handle off an old battery and we put it on it you'll see but um, anyway you want to make sure you, you have a handle because these are a bugger to get out of here you know if you're lifting them out plus you want to kind of keep the battery away from you you don't want to lean it up against your shirt because there's some acid and it can burn into your shirt right and ruin your shirt okay so we're just gonna pull this out of here okay. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna put that new battery back in, but before we do, um, let's pay attention to this hook and what that looks like down there, okay? So there's a usually a pretty, there's a plastic 
um, plate that your battery sits on, and it looks like this, okay? Pretty common anymore, you know, depending on how old your vehicle is. And it, this one has a couple bumps in it, right? And they actually fit in a couple holes over here, right? The, those two holes, this thing, you just come over here, you put it down, okay, it's gonna fit in those, in those two holes. <laughs> like so, okay? So, but here's what we wanna look at first, okay? So this little hook, that's gonna hold your battery down because it's important that you secure your battery after it's installed, is it's gonna fit inside there, right? There's a little hole there that's, that it's hooking into. And that's important because um, before you actually put the battery in there and the battery's in your way, you wanna know what you're looking for, right? Because I've made that mistake. <laughs> and so I'm sharing my, my wisdom with you, trying to figure out what I was trying to hook without knowing what I was looking for, okay? So now we put that plate back We'll set this off to the side. Okay, I'm gonna grab the new battery and let's just set it up here for a second. You can see that there's a, and you see how handy that handle is? If you don't have that handle, this is a, a lot harder job, right? You wanna make sure you have that handle. Um, so it's got a plus sign on it, right? And this is my plus sign over here, right? My, my positive side. So you just wanna make sure you have it uh, in the right area, okay? So, take this put it down inside there okay okay and then just make sure that everything's coming out where I can get it okay and then now I think before I even um, attach those cables I'm gonna try to fish for that that hook down there okay I'm gonna go ahead and and I can see it. And now that since I know what I'm looking for, it makes it a lot easier. I've already hooked it, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy on and it's just kind of temporarily, okay? I'm not gonna tighten anything down just yet. I'm just gonna get that. I've got that hook, okay? And it's there, okay? So that's beautiful. Now we're gonna go ahead and before we finish tighten it down, we're just gonna go ahead and connect the positive, okay? We connect the positive. Again, I don't have the right tool, so I'm using my needle nose, but I still should be fine. Okay. And just pay attention to those edges so you're not rounding it off. Okay. Make sure we got a good connection there. We can put that down. Now we can go ahead and attach this one, little spark. Still scares me, even though I knew it was coming. <laughs> so um, oh, it looks like I need to loosen this up a little bit to get it to fit on this post. Looks like this post must have been a little bit bigger than my old one. Okay. And then we just make sure we get it down there tight. Okay. And then we're going to tight it, tighten it back up. Okay. So, I think that's pretty close. Yeah, it's not gonna move. Okay, so that's good. Now we go ahead and just tighten this down. And since things are still not really tightened down good, we just, it gives us a little wiggle room. You start tightening things up too soon, then it's hard to move things around. Okay, so that's good. We can tighten this one down. Okay. And then now, just need to finish tightening that down. Make sure it's still hooked, right? It is. Okay. Again, the right tool would have been the right deal, but sometimes you're in a remote location and you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? Okay, so everything's really secure. I'm gonna go ahead and get in the vehicle and give it a shot. Okay, so we're back inside the van. We just swapped out the battery and we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, beautiful, started right up. So a couple things to keep in mind now that that's done is uh, when I bought my battery, they charged me a core charge of $15. Um, if I had my old battery with me and I went to buy the new battery, then they wouldn't charge me the core charge because I'm just handing over the old battery and I'm getting the new battery. But when you don't have the old battery with you, like I didn't, because I just took it out and put in the new one, 
uh, they're going to charge you a core charge. In my case, it's $15. I don't know if that's standard now. It used to be $10 and it used to be $5, but right now it was $15 for me. So now I can drive back to the store with my old battery and get my $15 back. So anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. Um, you know, some things seem are a little intimidating, but just by walking through the steps, maybe this gives you the confidence to try it for yourself if you need it done. If you don't, there's nothing wrong with that, but at least you know what the process looks like. You know, if you want a mechanic to do it, then you just might have to pay a mechanic to do it. There's, and there's no shame in that because mechanics are good at what they do. Just trying to help you do some things, you know, to give you confidence to be able to maybe figure it out for yourself or at least understand the process, okay? So I'm proud of you for trying this and you got this.